I'm getting stronger each day as I wait on you. Mm. Because he that will come will surely come and he will not keep silence. Mm. Father, thank you. Yeah, I give you praise and glory. Blessed be your name, mighty God. In Jesus' great name, we have worshipped him. Hallelujah. Eternal rock of ages, this moment, I just want to thank you. Thank you for the great things you have been doing, the great things you have continued doing, and the ones that you will begin even in our lives this afternoon. I thank you for the wonderful session we had last week, Wednesday. Thank you, Father, for the Saturday meeting. Thank you for testimonies that have started coming in. All the glory is returned to you. Father, I commit this session in your hands. I ask that, Lord, you minister to every one of us personally. Stay our spirit man up again and open our eyes to see you in a dimension that we've never seen before. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Good afternoon, wonderful women and men of God. You're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ to today's Travel of Hannah midday prayer session. I'm glad that quite a number of people have tuned in and I'm excited that wherever you're tuning in from, you were basking, praising God, whether driving, whether seated in your office, whether by the stage, by all means, you make sure you are able to offer songs of praises to God that while you are waiting, you are getting stronger. Mary Chow, welcome. Precious Jones, welcome. Debbie Ochilo, welcome. Mama Jennifer, welcome. Ruth Adiambo, Eric Muhindo, welcome. Pastor Lea, you're welcome. Angel's testimony, Hanatu Diari, you're welcome. In Jesus' name, even Yola, my sis, you're welcome. Mama Labi, you're welcome. I know we would love to have Mama Labi here, but she's preparing for a major meeting. Let's allow her to be done with that one first. Praise the Lord. Everyone that have tuned in, those that I'm able to see, and even those I'm unable to see, from my heart, I welcome you. Abigail Milonde uh, Musondoli here in the studio, welcome. Thank you. Dionte, the Lord bless you. While we are waiting, we are getting stronger. Praise the Lord. So have you shared this broadcast? Are there a group of people that you desire them to come online so that we can flow in the same spirit? Please copy the link, share and invite them. Share and remind them that the program is already on. Hallelujah. Amen. I introduced a teaching last week of Wednesday that is captioned, Entreating the Hand of God. Entreating the Hand of God. I laid the foundation and will be continuing from there even as we prepare to pray. He said entreating means to earnestly ask someone to do something for you. We are earnestly entreating the hand of God because his hand is a walking hand. Because when his hand is revealed, the Bible made us understand that no man can turn it back. Mm -hmm. So I'll be continuing from where I stopped last week. But there is this word that kept coming. There is a statement that kept coming to my mind. I have tried to brush it aside. Even as I was preparing, it kept on coming. I've shared it with few people. Even yesterday, I talked about it. And I felt I should still mention it. And this is the statement that who is running the show of your life? Who is running the show of your life? I've tried to push this statement aside, but it's like God will have me to mention it more so that perhaps someone will get to hear it once. Or somebody else will yet to hear it twice. Jeremiah said the word of God came to him the second time. Who is running the show of your life? Who is running the show of your life? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to understand that as we move on in life, we have to be careful not to steal the, the, the not to steal the glory, or rather, not to steal the activity or some of the events that are ongoing, the show that is ongoing in our lives. We have to be careful not to steal that show as we journey in life because everyone that dared or tried to steal the show of God 
in the Bible where men and women that didn't see the finger of God again revealed in their life. As we journey in this life, you have to be very careful not to steal the show of certain events that are happening in your life. And when I talk about certain events happening in our lives, it means that God walking behind the scene to align, to arrange some things in our lives. We have to be careful not to steal the show. The children of Israel, the Bible tells us in the book of uh, Psalms chapter 78 and verse number 9, he said, although they were armed, they had all their weapons, they had all their bows, they were prepared. But on the day of battle, the Bible says they were turned back. Have you wondered why they were turned back? They were turned back because they tried to steal the show. They tried to steal the show. You know, they assumed they were the ones running the show of their life. So at the hour of manifestation, they were turned back. The Bible says it was because they kept not the covenant of God. They were not careful to allow God to run the show. Anytime you fail to allow God to run the show, when we fail to give God the space to run the show, when we fail to recognize that God is the one running the show, the fastest and the easiest thing that God does is for him to step aside. And anytime God steps aside because he's not given the opportunity to run the show, things begin to wither in the life of such individual. Not only does things begin to wither, even the hand of God is withdrawn in the life of such individual because God is not an intruder. God will not struggle with any man that tried to steal the show. The only thing God will do is to step aside. When Nebuchadnezzar tried to show as if he was the one running the show, God stepped aside. And when God stepped aside, the grace that was walking in his life was withdrawn. Within a twinkle of an eye, the man that was once seen in the palace, he didn't, he didn't have joy of sitting in the palace. Because everything changed. God stepped aside and everything around his life withered. The only place he had, you know, he had a joy of dwelling was in the bush. He began behaving like an animal because God stepped aside. He tried to steal the show. He thought he was the one running the show and God withdrew. Moses understood this. He said, look God, if you are not going with me, don't even take me further. I can't try to say I am still in the show. You are the one running the show. Below, I want you to understand, God is the one running the show. Give him the space to keep running the show. Give him a conducive atmosphere around your life. Let him keep running the show. Recognize him as the one running the show. And there will be no limit to how much he can do. But when we try to pretend when we try to, you know, we try to show as if we are the one running it, he steps aside. And when he steps aside, everything begins to wither. It is my prayer that as you allow God to run the show, as you recognize him as the only one that can run the show successfully, whatever has withered will begin to sprout again. You know, when you deny him the opportunity to run the show, he withdraws his hand. And it is because of the withdrawal of his hand that everything with us. You know why? Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 4. The Bible made us understand. The hand of God is the hiding place of his power. So if you don't recognize him as the one running the show, he withdraws his hand. And when that hand is withdrawn, the power that makes things happen is withdrawn. Because the hand of the Lord is the hiding place of his power. That's why we are here today. To recognize him that Lord, you will keep running the show. I am stepping aside, run the show. If there's any aspect of my life that I've tried to steal the show, to steal the event happening, Lord, I step aside and I allow you to run the show. To run the show. Everyone that allowed him to run the show in their lives, they ended well. Praise the Lord. We are here to entreat his hand because we still want him to run the show. You know, when you experience stagnation, you experience dryness, no, you know, you, 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 you come to a point that there is no notable progress as anticipated. It is an indication in that aspect of life, you didn't give God the ample space required. You didn't give God the recognition that he requires as the one that is running the show. So when that happens, his hands are withdrawn. And when his hands are withdrawn, everything begins to wither.
That's why this afternoon we'll be praying. We don't want him to withdraw his heart. We are here to entreat his heart. We'll begin by giving thanks to God and Lord. Thank you because you are faithful to fulfill every promise. You are faithful in fulfilling every promise. You are faithful. You are not a man that should lie. You are faithful in fulfilling every promise. Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I give you thanks. Because you are faithful in fulfilling every promise. Mighty God, I give you thanks. Because you are faithful in fulfilling every promise. I want you to appreciate it. Is it the promise of healing? Is it the promise of breakthrough? Is it the promise of divine establishment? Is it the promise of elevation? God is faithful in fulfilling his promises. We need to appreciate him. When you allow him to run the show, he is faithful in fulfilling his promises. When we give him the space to run the show, he is faithful in fulfilling his promises. Father, thank you. Because you remain faithful in fulfilling every promises you have made. Every promises you have made, you remain faithful in fulfilling them. Lord, I recognize you, O oh God, that you are a faithful God that cannot lie. You are a faithful God that cannot lie. You have remained faithful in fulfilling all your promises. Man can delay, but Lord, you will not delay. You come when it is time. You remain faithful in fulfilling the promises you have made. Mighty God, I give you thanks. I give you thanks. The promises of healing. I thank you because you remain faithful in fulfilling them. The promises of elevation. I thank you because you remain faithful in fulfilling them. The promises of supernatural conception. Give him all the glory. He remains faithful in fulfilling them. The promises of, a, of supernatural breakthroughs. Father, we give you thanks because you remain faithful in fulfilling them. You remain faithful in fulfilling your promises. The promises of offering direction. You remain faithful in fulfilling them. Thank you, mighty God. Still in the mode of thanksgiving, we will say, Lord, thank you for manifesting your kindness in all that you do for me. Thank you for manifesting your kindness in all that you do for me. We are simply telling God, we are indirectly letting God know that Father, you are the one running the shows of our life. That Lord, thank you for manifesting your kindness in all that you do for me, in all that you do for my children. Thank you for manifesting your kindness. Where God will have judged us, he showed us mercy. Lord, thank you for manifesting your kindness. Where we will have seen shame, he exchanged it with his glory. Thank you for manifesting your kindness in all that you do for me. Father, we give you thanks for the manifestation of your kindness. For the manifestation of your kindness in all that you do for us. In all that you do for our family. In all that you do concerning the work of your hands. In all that you do concerning our health. Father, thank you for the manifestation of your kindness. For the manifestation of your kindness. Where we will have failed, oh God. Father, you cause us to record success. Thank you for the manifestation of your kindness. Where we will have been demoted. Father, we enjoy promotion. Motion. Thank you, Lord, for the manifestation of your kindness. Give him glory for the manifestation of his kindness over your finances, over your children, over your husband. Lord, thank you for the manifestation of your kindness, for the manifestation of your kindness. Where you have been forgotten, God, make sure that your talk is perpetual in the heart of men. What a dimension of the manifestation of his kindness. Father, thank you for the manifestation of your kindness. I give you glory, mighty God. In Jesus' great name, we have given him thanks. We will be going ahead to say, Lord, stretch your hand that cannot be brushed aside and do something for me. I don't know what that thing is. We read in Isaiah 14, verse 27, the message translation. When God stretches his hand, it cannot be brushed aside. <laughs> the hand of a man can be brushed aside. But when God stretches his hand, no one can brush it aside. We asking the Lord, Father, stretch forth your hand that cannot be brushed aside and do something. Is it healing? Stretch your hand and do something, oh God. 
within this week, on this particular day, Father, stretch your hand and do something. When the hand of God is stretched forth, something must happen. I don't know what is it that you desire. Open your mouth and begin to tell God. Stretch your hand. Stretch your hand that cannot be brushed aside. Stretch your hand, oh God, that cannot be brushed aside. Listen, I, I'm hearing it right now. There are some of you, there are documents you have submitted. I don't know what the documents are for, but there is someone here. You have submitted some document that needed to be attended to. Listen to me. When God stretches his hand, it will not just end over your life. It is reaching out to everything that has to do with you, including those documents. When God stretches his hand, even if the institution where the document was submitted, maybe they have pushed them aside. The hand of God cannot be brushed aside. So whatever is the content of that document, I want you to lift your voice. Lord, stretch your hands and do it. Your hand that cannot be brushed aside. Your hand that cannot be brushed aside. Is it an application? Whatever is that document, whatever is the content of that document, I'm hearing it, whoever you are, ask the Lord. Take advantage of the hand of God that we are entreating this afternoon. Now stretch your hands that cannot be brushed aside. Let this document be attended to. If there is a human hand that pushes things aside, there is the hand of God that restores what has been pushed aside. There is a hand of God that brings to remembrance what has been pushed aside. There is the hand of God that engages men that have pushed things aside to attend to it again. Oh God, stretch your hand. Your hand that cannot be brushed aside. Let that document be attended to. Let that letter, let that email be attended to. Make rakatabe yekete bababa. Rabe kosuba yanda. La kosuba yaketa. Yes, yes. Listen, the content of that document does a lot to decide your next level. Someone is online right now. The content of that document is so vital. I don't know who you are, but I assure you this afternoon, the hand of God is moving into action. They have been pushed aside, but the hand of God you are entreating by faith is bringing it wherever it has been pushed to, because his hand cannot be thwarted. The hand of God, when his hand is stretched out, it can be thwarted that Lord stretch your hand. Stretch your hand and do it. Stretch your hand that cannot be brushed aside. Stretch your hand and do it. Make rada ba ke shidaya. Reko so zuba yande leko to zuya. Stretch your hand and do it. Stretch your hand and do it. Stretch your hand and do it. Maka reko so zuba kadeya. Rekenda la kosuya. Rekandaya meko to zuya. It will not exceed this week. It will not exceed this week. That document will be attended to. Whatever is the content of that document, it is no longer the hand of man doing it. It is the hand of God doing it. I am hearing it. It is no longer the hand of man doing it. It is the finger of God. Listen, he said, if the Lord stretch his hands, Isaiah 14, 27, we need to read it. It is no longer the hand of man. Allow me to read it from the message translation. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 27. It is no longer the hand of man, it is the hand of God. Isaiah 14, 27, media are we there? What is he saying? Let me quickly get it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, God of the angels armies has planned it. Who could ever cancel such plans? He is the hand that is reached out. Who can brush it aside? Who can brush the hand of God aside? Man can take the document and brush it aside. Man may take it away from the reach of other people that are to give the final verdict. But the Bible says, when God reaches out with his hand, who will brush it aside? Who will brush it aside? That document is receiving a sudden attention because God has stretched his hand. 
Belando super car yekese. Malado super car kete lido suya. It will not exceed this week because God, you are the one doing it. It will not exceed this week. Lord, because you are the one doing it. Maka rekete ya. Raketaba. Your hand is stretched out. Who can brush it aside? Whatever has been brushed aside, oh God, because your hand is stretched out, let it be attended to. Let it be attended to. Let sudden attention be given to that document. Let sudden attention be given to that document. In the name of Jesus Christ. When the hand of God is stretched forward, the desire of every living is satisfied. In Psalms chapter 145, and verse 16. The Passion Translation, I'm not sure I'll be able to get it, but if the media manages to get it for me, praise God. Psalms 145 and verse 16. You will no longer be brushed aside. Amen. People will not look at you. They will no longer look at you with a disdain eyes. Amen. Things that People used to look at around you and you know they brush aside no more. You will no longer be brushed Amen. aside Amen. because Amen. God has stretched his hands Amen. in your direction. Amen. In Psalms 145, the Passion Translation says, When you open your generous hands, it is full of blessings. <laughs> are you hearing? When God opens his generous hands, what are we here to do? We are here to ask the Lord. So Lord, your hand is generous. Will you not open that hand in my favor? Oh, Jesus. Will you not open that hand in the favor of my husband? Will you not open that hand in the favor of my children? Will you not open that hand in the favor of this sister that is online? In the favor of this brother that is online? He said, when God opens the hand, where is it media? It's, go back to the same scripture, the Passion Translation, please. Psalms 145 verse 16. When you open your generous hand, it is full of blessings, not curses. It is full of blessings, satisfying the longings of every living thing. The only thing that will exempt you from, part from partaking of the blessing, the generosity that is in his hands, the only thing that will exempt you is that if you are not a living thing. If you are not a living soul, he said, when that is happening, when that happens, that, that when God opens his generous hands, it is full of blessing. Healing is in his generous hands. Lifting is in his generous hands. Divine establishment is in his generous hands. Direction is in his hands. He said, when he opens it, he satisfies the longing of every living thing. I'd like you to lift up your hand and begin to ask the Lord. Open your hand and satisfy this longing. I don't know what the longing is. When the hand of God is entreated and it is open, it satisfies the longings of every living soul because his hand is a generous hand. Because his heart is full of blessings. His heart is full of blessings. Your husband is there if you're not married. Your baby is there if you're believing God for the fruit of the womb. Lord, open your hand. Open your generous hands. Open your generous hands of blessing and satisfy the desire of every living. Satisfy the longing soul. Satisfy the longing soul. Open your hand, O oh God. Open your hands, O oh God. Let the desire of every living be satisfied by you. Let the desire of every living be satisfied by you. In these six months, O oh God, open your hands. Open your hands. Open your hands. Oh God, your generous hand. Your hand that is full of blessing. I entreat your hand, oh God. Open that hand, oh God. Open that generous hand. Open that generous hand that is full of blessing. Rabaka leko suba. Mekete ni yata. Zapaka te kotuza. Rekondo shiba. Rabaka keke ketia. Rame kosuta baba 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 baba. That generous hands, mighty God, open it. Rabe kosubaya. Rabe kandeleto subaya kete yete. The generous hand of God.
that is full of blessing. Rabba Baba Shenge de Kete. Rabba Bako Sotoya. Your generous hand, oh God. Your generous hand is what I'm entreating this afternoon. Open your generous hand. Your generous hand that is overflowing with blessing. The blessing of healing. Oh God, open it. Baka Rekoto Subaya. Raketa Yande Neposuya. The blessings of peace. Open that generous hand that is overflowing with the blessings of peace and give peace to anyone that is asking of it. Open that generous hand, oh God, that is overflowing. That is overflowing with the blessings of supernatural promotion. Open that generous hand. Open that generous hand. Open that generous hand that is overflowing with the blessings of favor. Open that generous hand that is overflowing with the blessings of restoration. Open that generous hand that is overflowing. Make rada ya keteria, makoto supra kanda ya mekoto siya. That generous hand that is overflowing with the blessings of marital settlement. Oh God, open that generous hand. Rekoto subaya, rekenda ya kada. That generous hand that is overflowing with spiritual blessings. Make teko siya. That generous hand. That is overflowing with grace. That is overflowing with anointed. Mighty God, open that generous hand. Makere keteko suyata. Makete riga basheta. Reko to subaya. Reko to suya. Yekatara. That generous hand that is overflowing with blessings. Makete koto subaya. Reko to subaba baba. Reko to suya. Makasheya. Rekata. Cry out to God. Open your generous hand, O God. That is overflowing with blessing. Open the generous hand that is overflowing with blessing. To satisfy this longing soul. To satisfy this longing soul. Maketa yada. Reko to subaya. Masheketa yada yaba baba. When God opens his hands, the opening of the generous hands of God, the only thing that will elude anyone from being a partaker of the blessings of his generous hands is doubt. The only thing that will elude any man or any woman from being a partaker of the blessings of his generous hands, except if you are not living. As long as you are living and you have faith in God, that hand is open in your favor. That hand is open in your direction. Because it is a generous hand that is overflowing with the blessings. The blessings are not, uh, the blessings are for you. It's not kept for anyone else. The blessings are for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 24. Isaiah chapter 44. And verse number 24. The Bible says, Isaiah 44, 24. It says, That says the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord, the God that cannot lie, the one that says it and it comes to pass. It says, I am the Lord that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that make all things. Not some things. The God that make all things, including your own things. I'm God that make all things. He went further to say, that stretch forth the heavens alone. I don't know if you have ever lifted your eyes at any point to understand this scripture. He said, he spread the heavens. He stretched forth the heavens alone. And then he sprayed and brought the earth by himself. <laughs> by his own hand. He stretched the heavens by his own hand alone. He said he sprayed the earth abroad. He said by myself. Without any man's support. If by the hand of God, the earth can be sprayed. You go to Europe. It is the work of his hands. He spread the earth they are in connection. He spread the earth by himself alone. He spread, he stretched the heaven. 
there is no pillar that is physically holding the heavens, but it has never collapsed because it is his hand that stretched it. There is no foundation as it were. You cannot see a physical block that is laid for God to spread the earth, but it has remained solid because it is the hand of God that spread it. I want you to lift your voice and pray. When God stretches his hand, he spread our life. He spread our businesses. The Lord, you have operated, operated that business year in, year out. And the desired expansion and the investment put in is not commensurable to the result. The Lord, stretch your hand and spread this business. Is it ministry? Lord, stretch your hand. When God stretches his hand, he spread the ministry. He spread every assignment that he has entrusted into your hands. Go ahead and begin to pray this prayer. Father, spread your heart. Spread your heart. Stretch your hand, oh God, and spread my business. Stretch your hand and spread businesses. Businesses, businesses, businesses that have remained in a hole, that have remained in a hole. Mighty God, stretch your hand and spread businesses. If by your own self alone you stretch the earth, is there a business that Lord you cannot expand? Stretch your hand and expand businesses. Rapa Kande Lekotosia. Reka Nabashe Yakadababa. Reka de Nekotosaya. La de Kosundo Bayakataya. Rekotobaya. No, stretch your hand and spread travel of Hana. No, stretch your hand and spread travel of Hana. Maketa Yande Yekita. Stretch your hand and spread this vision. Stretch your hand and spread this vision all over the nations of the world. Stretch your hand and spread it by your own self. Stretch your hand and spread it. Spread travel of Hannah abroad. Spread travel of Hannah to the glory of your name. Stretch your hand and spread it. Stretch your hand and spread this vision in the name of Jesus beyond the borders of this nation. Stretch your hand and spread this vision. Lift your voice and begin to ask the Lord to stretch his hand and spread the vision that he has given you. To stretch his hand and spread the business that you are currently running. Father, stretch your hand. Stretch your hand and spray. Stretch your hand and spray. When God stretches his hands, there must be a spreading. Anytime God stretches his hand, there must be a spreading. Father, stretch your hand. Mighty God, stretch your hand. Let there be a major spreading. Let there be a major spreading of businesses. Stretch your hand and let there be a spreading. Spread let there be a spreading. Makaraba. Rekotosuba. Maketari gadagada. Rekotosuba ya. Yendaya. Yeketeria. Maketezia. Stretch your hand, O God. And let there be a spreading. Makaraba. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Anytime God spread stretches his hands, there must be a spreading. The two goes hand in hand. When God stretches his hand, there must be a spreading. There must be a spreading. Therefore, this afternoon, because we have entreated the hand of God, and he said when he stretches it forth, who is it can brush it aside? Because he has stretched his hand forward in the direction of that business. Enter into your season of spreading. Amen. Spreading Amen. endlessly. Amen. Spreading without border. Spreading without barrier. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That vision that God gave you. Because God has stretched his hand today. Let it enter into a season of spreading. Global spreading. In the name of Jesus after every stretching forth of the hand of God, the next thing that follows is a spreading, a spreading, a spreading. Lastly, we'll be praying. When God stretches his hand, he raises up. He raises up. In the book of First Samuel, chapter 2, First Samuel, chapter 2, verse 8, the Bible says, He raises up the poor out of the dust, and he lifts up the beggar from the downhill 
to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. Who is making it happen? Someone that was once in the downhill. Someone that was once a beggar. He said, God raises that person from begging. He lifts him from the downhill. And God by his hand, listen, beloved, anytime God sets things with his hands, not to put, set, because there's a difference between what you put and what you set. When God sets things by his hands, no one can remove it. And anytime God stretches his hands, there are lives he set. There are lives he set. There are destinies that must be set. He said, he, he, he lifts the beggar from the downhill to set them among princes because that is where they belong. And to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord. He has set the world upon them. In which area of life do you desire a rising? I want you to lift your voice and pray. And say, Lord, stretch your hand and raise me. Stretch your hand and raise my children. Stretch your hand and raise my husband. Stretch your hand. Lift your voice as we begin to pray. Father, you are the one that raises up and no one brings down. You are the one that raises up and reposition and sets up. Father, stretch your hand and set up. Stretch your hand and set up. Lord, stretch your hands and set up. Stretch your hands and set up. Mighty God, stretch your hands and set up. Stretch your hand and set up. Let there be a seven up because of the stretching forth of your hand. Of setting up of what needs to be. A setting up of things that need to be. A setting up of things that need to be. By the stretching forth of your hand. Let there be a setting up. A setting up. A setting up. A setting up in our health. A setting up in someone's organ. Oh God. Stretch your hand, oh God. And let there be a setting up. Make kate ko subaya. Reko to suya. Make lele ko subaya. A setting up in the marketplace. A setting up strategically by the hand of God. In that institution. A setting up strategically by the finger of God. In that industry that you are is setting up strategically by the finger of God. Stretch your hands of God and let there be a setting up. Let there be a setting up. A setting up that no man can pull down. A setting up that no man can bring down. A setting up that no man can down. Stretch your hand and let there be a setting up. Thank you, Father. Let's give him glory. Let's exalt his name. Let's honor him. Let's glorify him. Because when his hands is stretched forth, no one can brush it aside. No one can turn it back. Oh, kare basade ba, le kusubra kare kende ya, menda li do subra kake te ya. Re kanda la kusuya ba. We have allowed you to run the show by yourself. Father, thank you. We give you all the glory. Makera da ba 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 ba. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give him all the glory. Exalt his name. Honor him. Honor him for the setting up that have taken place. Give him glory. For the spreading because of the stretching forth of his hand. Give him all the glory. For satisfying every longing soul. Remember his hand is full of blessing. Thank you, Father. For the overflow of the blessing that proceeded from your hand that has been stretched forth. To satisfy the long to satisfy the desires of every longing soul. I give you all the glory. Blessed be your name, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a stretching forth of hand that turns the life of a man around. That is the stretching forth for salvation. Stretching forth for salvation. In case you are here, you are not born again. If there is any area of your life that is a must experience, is the stretch forth of the hand of God that will get you saved. I'd like you therefore to pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I am a sinner and I know you died for me. Father, forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. I repent of all my sins. I renounce the work of the devil. 
I renounce all his enticement. By this confession of faith, I recognize the work you wrote on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me my sins. Thank you for accepting me into the kingdom. For it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. What a joy that the hand of salvation is being stretched forth in your direction. And you have deliberately prayed this prayer and made this confession of faith. So you are now a child of God. You are born again. Jesus is your Lord and your personal Savior. Be bold to make this known to the friends around you. Be bold to make it known to your associations that you are now a child of God. The address displayed on this page is our contact. I'm so excited because many people are calling. Many people. Someone called all the way from Nairobi. He told me I'll still be willing to go to your church in Nairobi. And by the grace of God, he kept following up. He kept following up. And last week, he was finally at the church. And I was given the feedback that he is in the church. We trust God that he'll continue to grow and be established. And in case you are there, just like I'm sharing the testimony of this young man by the name Vincent, maybe the next testimony will be your own. Feel free and call. Our team will attend to you. And in case our church is far from where you are, there are so many Bible-believing churches in the location you are, I believe. So look out for those churches. Take yourself there and introduce yourself to the pastors. They definitely know what to do and how to mentor you to be established in this journey of faith that you have just begun. Praise the Lord. Before we exit, it is good to give our offerings. God is not in lack. God is not in need. Any opportunity he gives us to honor him with a substance is an opportunity to take us up financially. It's an opportunity to partner with him with our resources. Praise the Lord. I want to remind us that young lad that had uh, uh, two loaves and five fishes. I'm sure it was not easy when the mother got to know that her son gave out her two loaves uh, and five fishes. But she didn't know that that was the beginning of multiplication, not only in the life of her son, but even in the entire community. What you give is going far. I have a testimony of a woman from South Africa. She sent it in precisely yesterday. Another one from Tanzania. Just because of what is happening on this platform, do you know God is making it happen through you and I. So don't keep back that resources. It goes a long way, affecting lives from different locations. And there's no how your resources can be used and lives have been affected without God paying you back. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we just thank you, Abba Father. What a privilege we have to partner with you again with our resources. Lord, it is a real privilege because we know you are not a taskmaster. There is nothing we give in form of offering, free will, that you don't return to us in a multiplied form. Lord, I ask that to every one of us given today, multiply every seed sown and let every desire be granted. Thank you, Father. For it is in Jesus' name I pray and Amen. Amen. Once again, I appreciate each and every one of you for your consistent support on this platform from my heart. If I'm appreciating you, I know even heaven recognizes you. Thank you for always connecting. Thank you for always sharing. And thank you for always partnering in prayer and even with your resources. From the depth of my heart, I appreciate you. May the Lord God, that is the rewarder of every good work, reward every seed sown in Jesus' name. Do not forget in the Breakthrough family, we are waiting on the Lord today to convert this evening by 5.45 p.m. East African time for a, a, a time of prayer in preparation to our mid-year Thanksgiving that will hold in Nairobi and Nairobi Church Anniversary. In case you are far, you can connect online. We'll see you again next week. The same platform, the same topic, and cheating the hand of God. God is still unfolding to us. Don't forget, allow God to run the shows of your life. Allow him 
step aside, deliberately step aside and allow him to run the show as you follow behind. When he runs the show, there's no limit to how much he can lavish on you. But if you try to steal the show, he steps aside. And the moment he steps aside, everything with us but that will not be your portion neither will it be my portion any decision you are to take allow him to run the show before you lift your leg and take that step allow him to run the show and then your destination will be sure and your desired result or your desired end will be sure thank you again for connecting the lord bless you Minister Abigail, the Lord bless you and everyone that tune in. I celebrate you all. Miss Mango, God bless you. I did recognize you very laseo. God bless each and everyone. Mumin Labi, Rosie, Rose, the Lord bless you mightily. Skola, Ekesa, Fevo, Josie, all of you, I celebrate you and I love you. Mama, mama. Have a beautiful afternoon. Bye.